Lightning strikes the U.S. about 25 million times a year. Your odds of being struck by one, that's about 1 in 15,000. And all that seems slim, it seems like it. If you play the lottery for some perspective here, your odds of winning are 1 in 300 million. But you know, you still play. That's why you have to take the storm season very seriously. So according to the CDC, 73% of lightning deaths happen right now in June and also July and August. Wow! Wow! It's beautiful. And frightening at the same time. And they can be deadly. There are several different ways you can be hurt by lightning. First, the direct strike, then a side flash. Also, anyone outside is a potential victim of ground current that can travel through metal and even garage floors. Also, if you touch something that's been struck, you can get hurt. When you hear thunder or see lightning, seek shelter immediately in a sturdy building or a hardtop vehicle. Avoid seeking shelter under trees or partially open structures like patios, garages, or sheds. Avoid showering, washing dishes, or any other water-related activities during the thunderstorms. Lightning can travel through plumbing. Be wary of metal wires. This includes anything that plugs into an electrical outlet, water faucets and showers, windows and doors. And if you do find yourself in an unsafe situation, crouch on the ground with your weight on the balls of the feet, your feet together, your head lowered and ears covered. Never lie flat on the ground. Most importantly, remember when it roars, go indoors. Why are you still standing there? Get inside, right? So another tip, follow the 30-30 rule. If the time between seeing lightning and hearing thunder is 30 seconds or less, you need to get inside. Stay indoors for at least 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder.